Hello and welcome to Tech. I'm Mohammad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about why you need to use this select columns DAX in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Select columns. It adds a calculated columns to the given table or a table expressions. Basically, it returns a table. The syntax is select columns, the table name, comma, name of the column, and then the scalar expression. The example is select columns, student data, the table name, and this city is state, and this is state. Now let's go into practical and let's see how it actually works. This is my Power BI file. As you can see here, there are two columns here, city and state. Now, if I want to match these two columns and take these two columns in a separate table, then I can use the select column stacks. So for that, I need to go to home and then the new table is a calculated table. Now let's Type it here, select columns. It brings up here. The main table is student data. And now I'm going to make a column as state, CP, and state. So this is my user defined column name. And then, comma, the expression. Here I can bring the two columns here. The first I want to bring here the city which is from student data. And then I'm going to concatenate this with a comma separated value here and then state and state. Now let's close this and click commit. It will give you a list of rows with a table. Now, as you can see it here, it gives me the city name and then the state as well. Now, the requirement is I actually need only the distinct values from here, so I can use the distinct DAX as well. On top of that, I'm going to add the distinct DAX. So distinct is table name or a table expression. This is a table expression basically. So go N and then the close bracket. Now commit. Cool. Now it gives me only the required data. The distinct value of the city and the state in a master table. I can use this in a slicer or whatever I can. So these are you can able to use the select columns DAX in Power BI. It will be helpful function in some of the cases like I have shown it here. If you want to match these two columns city and state in one as a slicer filter. So if you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. If you're not yet a member of our channel, just hit the join button to become a member of our channel and it will be really helpful for us for our upcoming videos. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.